Captain Reuben. I, the man himself. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. What brings you here? The Admiral asked me to shed light on your little problem of indiscretion in your ranks. I see. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. You told the Admiral that you suspect one of your crew members. Indeed. The young apprentice sailor, Alba, a committed volunteer from Teleme. Ah, she only joined us a short time ago. And did you want to know anything else? The Admiral told me that you were the new captain of the ship we arrived on. The Seahorse? Yes. It's an excellent ship and a good crew. But you did the crossing. You know it as well as me. And did you want to know anything else? That'll be all, Captain. Thank you. What brings you in? The Admiral... I see. What led you to these suspicions? Well, the girl's behavior. She was very eager at first, very willing, almost too much. Then, suddenly, she became nervous. She isolated herself and did not speak to others. She's a recent recruit, which inevitably raised some doubts about her vocation. Sometimes I saw her hanging around my cabin. My papers were often disturbed. And since we've returned to port, she's almost never on board. Well, you can understand my concern, but you should probably talk to the other members of the crew. They may know something else. Did you want to know anything else? Do you know what information she may have sent? I don't know exactly what you know about our navigation methods. Let's say that magic does not have much to do with it. I see. Well, of course she knows that too. She saw some of our machines on board. And by searching through my papers, she could get even more sensitive information. Did you want to know anything else? That'll be all, Captain. Thank you. Hey, happy to see you again. How have things been going for you since your crossing? Good, thank you. Even if I've got quite a list of errands to check off. Then straight to it. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a nought. A young woman going by the name of Alba. I know her. She joined our crew at the same time as our new captain. Did you try the tavern? Don't give me that look there. I've kept from the bottle since that story with Jonas, you know that. No matter. When we're at dock, there's nothing much else to do. It might be that little Alba went there to take a look. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Your Excellency. I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. What can I do for you? I would like you to tell me anything you can about a member of your crew. Alba. She joined our party recently, but I like her already. She works hard and is full of courage. You know, she is one of those rare knots that joined of her own volition, and she did everything she could to become one of our own until we arrived here. She suddenly became distraught and frightened. It brought back memories. Do you know where I could find her? I'd like to ask her some questions. N no. I've not seen her for a while. Maybe at the tavern? She was playing cards there from time to time. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. Your Excellency, it's a pleasure. What can I do for you? Can you tell me anything about Alba? Oh, I don't know her very well. She only joined our crew recently. But she pulls her away. You can't hold that against her. You might say she shows a little too much zeal even, at times. That being said, ever since we got here, I found her a little... distraught. Well, you could even say nervous. Would you know where I could find her? No. I wouldn't. Where's she missed roll call? Well, I hope she didn't do something stupid. These committed volunteers, we never know if we can trust them. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then.
be a spy. We were told that she was sometimes at the tavern. We should take a look there. Come on, gentlemen. Please calm down. Hey, you are guests here. Behave appropriately. Who are you to give us orders? That's true. You want to see how tough... Come on. You don't know who you're messing with. My child, I doubt that your job as legate involves managing fights between drunkards. You're right. It's a waste of time. What can I pour for you? I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Reuben's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. Anything else? Nothing, thanks. I'm not thirsty just yet. Look at that! <laughs> the upper crust coming to slum it at the tavern. Change your tone, soldier. You're speaking to the legate of the congregation. Oh, my apologies, Captain. I didn't know. How may I help you? We're looking for a young nought. She's part of Captain Reuben's crew. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. A girl who loses her pay with style. <laughs> but I don't know where she is. She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she would like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? <laughs> no idea she told me nothing. But if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. But I see everything. Tell me what you saw. I'd like to tell you all that, but... <coughs> my throat's a little dry, my friend. Do you want to know anything else? That'll be all, soldier. Thank you. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your... There you go. Oh, here you are again. Tell me what you saw. This should quench your thirst. So... What did you see? Well, returning late at night, I spotted a guy I'd seen before at the tavern. He often spent time with the nought, and he was in the street, fiddling with a stone, looking suspicious. So, I took a closer look when he left. I thought he'd stashed money or something, but no. There was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. They were messages, and from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> now... I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what it was about, but maybe those were your secrets? Where is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The box is underneath. Thank you, soldier. My pleasure, friend. Do you want to know anything else? That'll be all, so.
Your Excellency, it is an honor. Hello, my darlings. It's rare to see the upper crust in here. It must be my lucky day. Do you and yours want to have a good time? I could call a few friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Really? What would you like, then? I'll let you get on. <sighs> what a shame. Come back soon. Hello, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, such elegance. You really are honouring your uncle. Hello, Your Excellency. Very well. This stone must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. Someone exchanges secrets using this box. But who? Well then, we'll have to catch whoever uses it red-handed. Oh, I'm a little old for hiding in the bushes, but if that's what you want to do... We can see everything from here. If someone comes, we can't miss them. Shall we wait here? Sometimes the Enlightened has a sense of humor. What is it with these drunkards? What are you doing here, gentlemen? Am I dreaming? Or are those the same guys from before? No, you're right. It's those guys who came to pick a fight at the tavern. Could you go fight somewhere else? And why would we do that? The road is for everyone. It's true. We fight where we want. Listen, a patrol is coming. You better run. They're not fond of rowdy drunkards. We're not being rowdy. We're talking nicely. I've never heard of patrols on this road at this time. Believe me, there is one. Word of a coin, Captain. Oh. Well, uh... Maybe it's best we left then. Yeah. Right. Come on. Let's go. Oh, may the Enlightened take pity on these poor fools. Now it should be quiet. Shall we wait here? Someone is approaching. Maybe our spy. This guy is only an underling. We should follow him. We win this battle! Tear out! No! And death no! to the no! end! Please, sire, I surrender! Soldier. We saw you retrieving documents from the dead drop. What of it? I'm carrying out the mission I was paid to do. Nothing more. 
Soldier, what is your mission and who gave it to you? Uh, Captain, I'm sorry, but I cannot answer that. This is an order, soldier. Yes, Captain. A man from the Alliance pays me to come here every two days to retrieve the contents of this box. I have to collect the messages without looking at them and take them to the meeting point. Who is this man? No idea. He did not want to give me his name and I did not insist. As long as I get paid, that's all that matters. And where is the meeting place? It depends. He leaves me a note at the tavern with the location. And here, this is the one for tonight. Listen, this was just a little bit of extra coin for me. I'd really appreciate it if the quartermaster didn't know about it. I won't say a thing. Give me what was in there and go. Here. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Don't move, sir. What do you want from me? Your messenger's not coming. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and you have been caught plotting treason. So I suggest you talk. What do these messages contain, and what are they about? You're wasting your time. I, I, I won't say a word. Do you realize that you are suspected of espionage and conspiracy? Don't you think you better explain yourself? Wait! I, I, I don't want to end up in jail. It's not about the secrets of the congregation. Uh, let me explain. Some time ago, it was rumored that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. Oh, my country was interested. So I started exchanging messages as you've been doing. The Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also wanted to become a citizen. But we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete. Just promises. Who is the Nort you're talking to? Oh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose. But I doubt it's a real name. Very well. You seem to be telling the truth. Now, if you'll allow me, uh, I, I will leave the town. Ah, Your Excellency. So, what did you discover? There is indeed a spy among the Norts, but the spy's identity remains to be proven. Take this. I have recovered this note, which seems to suggest that your secrets have been offered to several buyers. The Alliance citizen we met did not win the bid. I knew it. My logbook has just been stolen, and of course Alba is missing. Do we really still need proof? This book must be found at all costs before Alba sells it. Your Excellency, can we count on you once more? I would like to help you, but this island is vast. How could I possibly hope to find it? Alba is from Teleme. She probably took refuge in San Mateus. This reduces the search area a little. What do you say, Your Excellency? This is a trail that deserves to be followed. I will keep you updated, Admiral.